Hello folks, this is No Face Plays, and welcome back to the world of Final Fantasy. So, I've done a few things. Okay, so the first episode, uh, if you guys didn't notice, there was the white box in the bottom left corner. Very annoying, I know. Well, it, you won't be bothered by that anymore. I now am using, not using the PS4 recording software anymore, and I am now using uh, Streamlabs OBS to record it so yeah we're we're much better off now anyways uh let's continue on here huh a dead end but there's nowhere else to go what are we gonna do move that box out of the way Here's dude the fear. look the closely this may appear to the be a wall but it's actually a gimme golem is ah. this a mirage too not in the traditional the sense of the word but you'll see these pests all over grimoire and unless you they give them what they want, they'll give you a hard the time and block the way. So what is it they want? It really the depends on the guinea golem. So the first thing you'll have to the do is examine it. Okay. Examine it. Oh, sounds difficult. What do I have to do? Press X? Oh, I don't know. I'm kidding. Obviously I'm kidding. You see a luster leaf reflected in his eye. Okay. So where do you find that? I don't know. <laughs> Choco chick you just imprisoned ought to be able to track the down what we need. But first things the first, you're going to have to unlock the right ability on the Choco chicks the Mirage Board. All right. Um. We should be able to unlock it right off the bat. So we just go to the Choco chicks Mirage Board here. And look at this. Uh, basically all of your mirages you capture can learn various abilities and yeah he can learn it right off the bat um no we don't need any of that we're good actually let's, let's get some abilities for tama tama has like four points hp plus cure you know i want to start by going for cure Let's go for cure first, and then we'll go for strength plus over there. Hey, the Choco Chicks come along for a stroll. Look at that. All right, so yeah, if you have the stroll ability, they can look for little items like that. Huh? We found something. There we go. We got the luster leaf. Yay! You have found it. Now try examining the Gimme Golem one more at a time. Huh? We found something. <laughs> Just repeated it. Um, but yeah. So you give them a little stroll ability and they'll come along with you. And let's and let's say you have multiple mirages in your team with the stroll ability. You can switch them at will. I forgot which button it is to do it. We'll figure it out later. But yeah. Gimme, gimme. You can switch it at will. And now we just give him the lust relief and he'll move out of our way. Vanished. Hopefully the game's not That's too loud so on this cool. recording. I guess the Choco Chick found us just the item we needed. Yep, yep. With the help of a Mirage or the two, <sighs> there's nothing that you can't accomplish. And Mirage boards are for much the more than unlocking abilities. You can also use them to change your Mirages into new and the powerful forms. So be sure to keep on the leveling up and working on your Mirage boards. Pretty soon, you'll be bouncing in the trouncing across Grimmore like a pair of the pros. A pair of the pros. Um, so yeah. Mirages can evolve. So basically, let's say we kept uh, the Choco Chick uh, as a main party member. We can keep leveling up and learning him abilities, and we could get this here. If we reach level 10, we could get this, and we could transfigure him into his next evolution form, which is whatever this is. Then we could go from there and transfigure him into this big form. So yeah, and you could do that with pretty much all mirages. Tama does have an evolution here, as you can see. I don't know what it is, but uh, I'm not sure how to get it. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, you have to obtain it item. I'm assuming you obtain it, obtain it through the story. So we'll have to look into that later. Probably way later, because... I've never even gotten it. Even in my main save file, I never got it. Ooh, treasure chest. 
three potions. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's so, pretty Tama, much. Oh. I noticed mirages disappear when we defeat them. Why is that? Most of the mirages you see in Grimoire don't actually the technically belong in this world. And so, when one of you guys that gives them the old KO, they can't maintain their presence here anymore. They fizzle that out and go back to their own worlds. Huh. Wait. Now, that's weird. Who was it that told me all this before? Ugh. It's like, right there, on the tip of my tongue. So yeah, basically when we kill mirages, you don't really kill them, they just get returned to their own worlds. Uh, I mean, they literally just said that. I'm pretty sure you guys can understand that for yourself. I should just, I shouldn't really repeat that stuff. I mean, you guys aren't idiots, right? I just don't want anybody to be confused, you know? What the hell is that? Okay, what in the hell? What the honk? What's this? <laughs> This is the called a Merc Rift. Inside you're the likely to find mirages that are, shall we mirages? say- Mirages? Oh man, let's go catch them. All right, Lana, see ya. So I am gonna upload the first episode with the little white box in the corner. Um, that's just how it's gonna have to be for the first episode, but it'll be, it, it's gonna be fixed from here on out. I'm gonna just uh, record with Streamlabs. This one's not very cute. At least with this game, maybe not every game. Uh, yeah. So, those little boxes are called Mercrifts, obviously, as you saw. Um, and they house pretty strong monsters. Oh, We're going to try to beat most you? of them. Now what do we do? I tried to tell you. Inside Mercrifts, you're likely to find mirages that are the strong and dangerous. You tried to tell us. Try a little harder, please. <laughs> I mean, you ran in before you could say anything, to be fair. All right. The funny thing is, is that even if you turn the battle speed all the way to max, it still feels slow. But yeah, let's just attack. Nice miss, bro. I think we're gonna beat him. Alright gamers. Alright, let's just fast forward. We're, we're gonna die. You have to die. Um, I don't think... There's no way, yeah. There's no way you can win. And you can't run away either. No way, no escape, no nothing. You got it. It's just a scripted death, basically. And pff, well, all right. Uh, uh, oh, oh, ow. oh no! Did you two die already? <laughs> what? I died? But that's no way. Yeah, bro. Maybe it's true. That mirage in the Merkrif did kind of well kill us. I'm still alive. Yes. That's because someone intervened, right at the moment of your demise, and made it so the battle never happened. Wow, you can really do that? Of course, although Tom is the one who does it. That's the right! I have the power to rewind time a little, and then to whisk you to safety. Wow. Although, it Aww. will cost me a life to do it, so I hope you don't mind if I rest for a I little I just noticed that Tama has like a little baby bib. A life? You might not believe it, but I've actually got <laughs> It's not a bib, lives. but it looks like Back it. There, to sacrifice one of those lives to turn back time and to save you. You see, this girl with the ribbon that showed up in my dreams, she's the one who taught me how to do it. That makes zero sense and kind of freaks me out, but Tama, I'm impressed. The thanks! The oh, thanks. But just so you know, I can only the use my powers to protect the two of you specifically, and only the if you lose a fight, like what happened to you in the Mercrypt. Your mirages still do get saved, though. Despite how that sounds, your mirages will be okay. So, don't forget to give me a breather before I run out of second the chances. Dude, you got it. Say no more. Rest yourself, silly. Yes, this sir. Thanks, Tama. We really owe you one. Especially Lon, who didn't have the good sense to listen before diving in. Exactly. <laughs> Roasted. Oh my god. You know, I actually saw... I don't know if it was a review or what, but somebody was trying to say that this game just portrays men as idiots and portrays like Rain as like a Mary Sue. Uh, like, oh, strong female lead. But my counter argument is that 
almost every other man in the game is not portrayed as an idiot. There's probably a couple others. And there are girls in this game, if I remember correctly, that are that are also portrayed as idiots. And Rain is not a Mary Sue. She has flaws. She makes mistakes throughout the game. And, you know, there's consequences. Um... I don't know, I just find it really stupid how people can even say that. That's like... Like, I'm not an SJW, or a feminist for that matter. I'm not any of that. I hate those groups, to be honest, but... That's just going too far, honestly. You're just... Now you're just getting a little excessive if you want to say all that, in my opinion. No, it's just a fact. She's not a Mary Sue, and this isn't a sexist game at all. It's just... It's a character dynamic, okay? It's a classic character dynamic that's been used in all kinds of games and movies and shows, okay? It's... That's all it is. Whether it be two guys or two girls, or a guy and a girl, it doesn't matter. I bet if Rain was the idiot and Lon was the smart one, you'd have the SGWs complaining that they portray women as idiots in the game. Both, si both sides are fucking stupid, to a certain degree. Hey. <coughs> oh, if you mean our new guest, she <sighs> claims to have gotten herself lost. Go say hello. She's I mean, I'm not, I ain't a centrist or anything, though. Uh, okay. Don't don't take that the wrong way. I'm I'm a conservative, but. The real question is how she got here from the outside world when it's no easy trick. Hey, you psycho! Quit talking to yourself. All right. Uh, so this is a save point right here. We'll go over it right now, actually, because we haven't even seen a save point yet, have we? We may have seen a save point, but. They regenerate your health and everything like that, and let allows you to save, obviously. There we go. And look at now you can see me save. Because we're not using the stupid PlayStation recording software anymore. Alright. I should have just used this software from the beginning, but... Eh, whatever. And I have it recording in MP4 format, so, so I don't really have to render the video. Or anything. Since it is uncut gameplay for the most part, unless, of course, a future video needs to be cut, then I will do so. Oh, and, wow, ooh. she's so tiny. Is she, uh, what's the word again? Lilikin. Lilikin? Yeah. Uh, Chocopocalina, but she goes by a different name. Yeah, oh. Chocopocalina. <laughs> From Final Fantasy 13 too, but Hello. she goes by a different name you? in this game now. Mm -hmm. Uh, good, more or less. You know what a nice, quiet place. Oh, uh. So who are the you? Oh, you can call me Choco Latte. I seem to have washed up here like a soggy yellow feather in a storm. Normally she goes by Choco Bocalina, but in we this game she goes by Chocolate. For winding up in Obviously. strange places. Uh, cool. All right. Care to shop? I've got the goods. Chocolate All right. There is an item I want to buy from here. We probably won't be able to buy it right now. We don't need to buy it right now, but let me see here. There's an item I want to buy. I forgot what it was. I actually forgot. Um. Wobble Stopper? Is that it? No. It's something. It's. Maybe we can't buy it yet. We'll come back later and check. Wow, slow down. What kind of operation we barely got any gill, anyways. The shop, dear. <laughs> You're in luck. I find all kinds of stuff as I bounce from point A to point Q. I'm your Choco connection. You mean point A to point B? Point A to point Q. All right, now. So hey, are you ready to head back to Grimoire? Yep. Yeah. As I was saying, now we just gotta head back to the gate and head to Grimoire. Sound like a little baby. You had it coming. You know, when you awaken, you should have woke me up too. I don't remember raising you to be such a selfish selfer poo. Well, I don't remember you the raising me at all. Did Tama shit himself? Oh my. 
I'm just poop? I mean, poop himself? Here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Hello. My hobbies include gossip mongering and, uh, and being a little gremlin. Oh, I'm good at hoarding things. Yep. Top hoarding? 10 skills. Hoarding. Why do you think I'm of here? all time. You must have tons Number of all hoarding. Than you can handle, right? Well, we're still working on it. Number all. Uh-huh. You'll hoarding. have scabs of them before long. You're gonna need a place to It's load. just really crazy how yeah, you can hoard things and have bulky. a lot of stuff. Well, who's got you covered? This yeah. pixie right here. Anacro made me a special prison case that lets me keep all your prismariums safe. Just Great. plonk the ones you don't need in and yoink the ones you do need out. Yeah. All plonking and yoinking must be performed within the confines of Nine Wood Hills or from an alternate location with a suitably strong connection. Additional terms, conditions, and restrictions may apply. <laughs> okay. I'm not Epic. sure I caught every single word, but I guess I agree. Oh, yeah. This prismarium belongs it to one of the basically tribe. sums up Even terms and conditions. love and affection you feel for me. Okay. Nobody actually Maybe reads it. Special, the case. Maybe pick up a couple things along the way and then press accept. Did uh, Tama just call Seraphy retarded? Awesome. There we go. And guess what, gamers? Now we can. Now, well, once we. Because you have a cap of like how much mirages you can carry at once. And now. They just get automatically sent to here if they go over the cap. And there's an infinite storage. Thank God. And I think we get... Yes. Uh, one of my main... This will be one of my main, uh... Little, uh... Little Mirages. Uh... You know what? We'll use the default name. I like the name Sylph. I said I was gonna rename him, but... I don't know. I like Sylph. And we'll just go ahead and equip that right on to her there. There we go. Now I got shell on her heads. Anyway, I think you should be able to manage on your own from here. Okay. You mean you're the leaving us? Yes. You handle things now. Oh, okay, I will. It's cool. I'm gonna leave everything up to Tama. Albert was bottle of mouthwash. That's a seraphy guarantee. Huh? But, but where are you going now? Oh well, He's somewhere <laughs> else. Of course. Yeah, that's huh? not exactly very helpful. Look, we really need to ask you so many things. No, no, you'll figure it out. I can't do everything for you now. Everything. But you've barely done anything. Besides, wow, really gonna do her like that? Like water dousing fire and light okay. banishing darkness. Uh, I think that's just called science. Well, okay. I designed mine to be so completely unbreakable that even I can't undo them. Undo what? The rules. <sighs> You're bad at explaining. You're saying you can't help because that violates the rules of the world or something? Exactly. But why is that? I mean, come on. Just who do you think you are? Me? A gamer. Oh, well... I'm God. Okay. What the fuck? What the honk? We just talked to God. <laughs> Look at their, like, He's awestruck. Gone. I mean, you did just talk to God. I guess we can't necessarily rule it out. But for somebody calling the cosmic shots... She seems kind of sub-benevolent. They don't even well, seem that shocked. That's a crow for you, so get used to it. So, she really is God? Beats me. Anna Crow is Anna Crow, wouldn't you say? Pity the she mind. just said she's God. Uh, thanks for clearing it up. Um, I'll I'll probably talk about it later. I was gonna say I was gonna talk about something, but talking about it would just kind of spoil it spoil something in the story so uh we're just not gonna i'm just not gonna bring that up so we're gonna save as often as we can so that if i do lose progress by accident i'll be able to just jump right back and hopefully get back to where i was pretty quickly well now we just gotta go th back through the gate and this time not die here we go
Well, that certainly cost us a chunk of time. And whose fault is that? Oh, uh, yeah. Oops. Oh, uh, yeah, I want names. <laughs> it was you, man. Running into battle before you were, before you were even really ready. The hell? Look at that little thing. All right, let's just go ahead and capture it then. Why not? There we go. We got the little we got the little critter, little critter. It's not gonna be one of our mains, but you know why not capture it? I'm gonna capture all the ones that I can. I'm not gonna go out of my way to capture certain ones unless I want it to, unless it's like one of the main ones that I want. But I will capture some of them. Looks good. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. One of my favorite things is that. So, like, okay. Now, if you look here, okay. How do I how do I get a good look of it here? Right here. Okay, so here's like our main party here, and then here's like our sub party. Not our sub party. That's the wrong way to say it. Here's basically where all the um all the Basically, the Mirages we're not using, the ones that are outside of the main party. Uh, a little bit of XP is split onto them, so you don't really have to grind uh, separate Mirages if you want to start using them. They kind of just naturally level up. They do level up slower, so you might have to do a little bit of grinding, but not a whole lot. Just go ahead and fast forward this. Mind you all shit. They don't do like any damage. They do like nothing. Wow, self leveled up. Amazing. So yeah, as you can see, they're not in our main party, but they still get a little bit of XP. So that's all good. Oh, there's that there's that damn thing again. The uh why do I forget what it's called? The uh 46 Jesus time. I know I know but could we see all this stuff before nope now that you fought that thing the once you can see all its information what, what is it called if you were to happen to know some Libra magic you can peep at its data before you even jump in yeah and I believe we do know Libra got it yep very good thing to keep in the mind long <laughs> uh, why are you repeating it and just for my sake <laughs> um, what are they called? Murkriffs. That's it, right? Uh, yeah, we're not gonna run into that Murkriff again. Oops. I guess I just accidentally got into a battle because I was running around for no reason. And yeah, it's just one of these guys. It's already over. Oh yeah. All right. Um, hello? Okay, okay. Let's keep on walking on through. Um, we should be almost out of here soon. Yep. Already pretty much out. Oh. I love this intro. Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna be quiet for this intro because I really like it.
And that's one of my favorite Chapter intros. Two. Foretold by prophecy. Foretold by prophecy. That's one of my favorite intros to any game. And that honestly, seeing that intro makes me makes me it makes me uh wish that there was an anime of this. Like I think an anime of this would be really cool. And that is, intro is really that a town over there at the end of the bridge really shows it. Yeah, and I don't know why, but something about it takes me back. <laughs> so I mean. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll huh? talk about it once we're there. Huh? Oh. Ah, the train! Oh. I hope this, uh, video doesn't get copyright striked so, because of the uh, intro song. You think we're supposed to get I'm alright with copyright claims, just not copyright strikes. Well, strike. I've never gotten a strike. I've only gotten claims. Even on my Clone Hero stream, they got like blocked in all countries. You can't even see it on my channel anymore. Even that just got claimed. It wasn't striked. Oh, hey sis, let's park it here. Sure. <laughs> Look at this cozy little train. Look at the little black mage and the white mage. Look at them. Hello. <laughs> They're so tiny. Whoa, pluck my needles. I don't know how long it's been since we've had new passengers. Huh? Huh? We ain't new, bitch. Right. Just kidding. Yes, please? Just kidding. Okay. I gotta stop saying just kidding. Talks? Oh, I indeedly needly am a barrage. But I'm also the train conductor, so... Tickets, please! The conductor? Give me the tickets, or you're gonna get the 1,000 needles. Conductor. And you hey, don't want the 1,000 needles. Right Cactuars are actually wow. pretty scary, so... Semi-lifetime passes, eh? Haven't feasted my eyes Semi on one lifetime. of these in a swell spell. Right then. Pleasant journey. So what does semi-lifetime mean? Like... Where did those tickets come from? 50 years? Is that what it means? I don't... I... Yep. Uh, okay then. If, like, you assume that so a lifetime is, like, 100 years. Yeah, and like, what? Lifetime one. And what... How long does a semi-lifetime pass last for? Semi-lifetime could mean anything. It could mean just, like, a month. Who knows? That's, like, half a lifetime. But then everybody's lifetime is different. So how would you calculate half of their lifetime? Or just half of a lifetime in general? Just take the average lifetime? <laughs> Hello! Oh my god, dude, he's kind of a pothead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Terrible joke, I know. Oh my gosh, it's another pothead. Stop making that joke now. You don't want it to get stale and annoying. That dude's got a live fish on his head. How is it not flopped off and went back into the ocean? Boom. Oh yeah, so I was gonna say this town is from Final Fantasy this One. Place rules. Yeah, it's like something right out of a fantasy. Whoa! A Final Fantasy! Whoa! Hey, Tama, why don't you hit your ride? Roger the Dodger! Pardon. Huh? If 
I may ask, would you be kind enough to tell me what country you hail from? Oh, America. Yes, we're uh. <laughs> Oh no, it's evil villains of villainy. Bahamu? What's a Bahamu? A cow? Well, the Bahamutian Federation has a whole army of mirages in their own form. Who? Huh? Someone's made a whole army out of them? Sounds just fine by me. Line them up nice and neat for us, so we can round them up. Huh? Hey! Just jogs right over. Lon charges in the battle. Here we go, gamers. All right, you Bahamus. What's your beat, huh? You gonna make it sound What's like they're made of beef. <sighs> yeah, Lon. Don't you know it's at stake? Oh, shut up. Did, she, did you guys hear that amazing fun? Of course you did. Take down the let's just take down the guard. I think he's the strongest. Oh yeah. Maybe we should have taken on the other weaker guy first. Eh, I don't think it really matters. Gotcha. Oh Nope. Can't capture him. Well he didn't even get the Prism Unity, so I don't even know why he tried. What the? What just happened? Why wasn't I able to imprison that mirage? Huh, I don't know. Maybe we'll have to find out on the next episode of World of Final Fantasy. I'm sorry, everyone. I know. <laughs> what a weird way to end the episode, but that's how we're going to end it. Alright, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And, uh, yeah. See ya.